Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy TSG. Good afternoon to you. So today will be story time with, with TSG. So I'm going to break two story times down in one whole video. So it's probably something you guys usually don't expect. I usually break it down to two different videos. We're going to do one. Two story times in one. So let's get started. The first actual story time I want to break down today is the two times I got stopped by the police. Probably won't believe it, but yes, this is true. The first time your boy TSG got stopped by the police was back in, it was back in the summer of 2016. I had, uh, I had, I mean, I was right. It was me, my mom, and my girlfriend at the time. And we had dropped her off at her uncle's house after we had spent some time together. And we were heading to our local Winco in the area that I live in. And I we were stopped at this street, this street called Reno Loop, before we got to the local Winco in, in my city. And we were stopped because the cop accused us of, he was my mom, actually, of speeding. So... What happened in this situation is he stopped my mom and probably thought, because my mom did have a hat on, I had a hat on too, probably thought I, my mom was a man and, and asked her for both of our IDs. He detained us, I'll say for a good 10 minutes, which I don't understand. Took my ID, took her ID, detained us for 10 minutes, make a long story short, he found nothing. Because my mom had asked me directly, I lie, I, I, I'm, there's no cap. She asked me, son, was I speeding? I said, mom, you weren't speeding. You stopped at the light and you kept going. So after about 10 minutes, he um, gave us our driver's license. He gave us both our identifications back and said, have a good night. But this was a um, young Caucasian cop basically trying to, trying to, trying to basically harass us. Because we're too black individuals i don't know why he did it maybe he just he felt like because he had a badge he was going to get some browning points and you know it's just pretty sad in america you know that the majority of cops don't like black people it, it like i told you everybody may tell you that there's no racism in america it is you know read up on your history if you're not and the second time because i don't want to stretch that terry too long with that was i had uh left the gym and i hopped on the, the local city bus and i was on my way home i was also this was about three years after so your boy at tsg at the time i was two i was 29 29 years old this is before i hit 30 this is two years ago i was stopped by the police again it was a uh, um I think he was probably like, he was probably a little old, maybe mid thirties, or early forties. He was a Hispanic guy. He stopped me and asked me a question. I was cool, calm and always, because my mom always told me when you engage an officer, sheriff, you'd be cool, calm, because they go off of body language, just depending on how, you know, because of today, what happens today between blacks and the police off and the police. So I was cool, calm, collective. He asked me a question. Was I, was I the, um. Was I the individual walk uh, running running in traffic, disrupting traffic? I told the gentleman, I said, officer, I don't do anything like that. I said, I don't, I don't disrupt traffic. That's dangerous. So he took my identification. He detained me for 15 minutes for no apparent reason. And I sat up there and I waited patiently. He checked, he checked, he could find nothing. So basically, after 15 minutes, he let me go. And I walked home. I walked the other... I think I walked about a good another hundred hundred more steps to my house and I was good. But just want to say about that conversation or just that those two encounters is it's pretty sad how the majority of cops think that all think think that all black people are criminals. It's not true. It's a it's a huge stereotype in today's society and I just feel like it's it's kind of bogus. So and um, I'm fully aware that I'm African-American, I'm black. I'm not liked by certain people because of the color of my skin. It's pretty, it's pretty ignorant to me. It's pretty 
immature for you to not like somebody because they're a different ethnicity. I just think that's the most immature thing you could ever do. So, um, that's just what I want to discuss in my first story time. And the second one, I just want to discuss is my big, my big lot, my experience working at big lots. That's what I want to discuss. Big lots was a good job for the time being. It was a good experience, but just the one thing I did not appreciate is me and the uh, manager did not get along. Because when I first started at Big Lots and I went to the orientation process and filled out all the the documentation, understanding what do you need to do on the job. Um, it's basically documentation telling you understand what you need to do after you go through all the after all the signing and all that kind of stuff. You turn it in, they process it for you to start working. I was promised <clears throat> at the beginning when I was in orientation, I would be paid uh, weekly. And I had set up um, also for direct deposit. And the thing that really turned me off and I, I found extremely disrespectful is when my manager had set me up for the direct deposit. And she never told me at the time I had made an error. And I was wondering the first couple of weeks when I was at uh, working for Big Lots, I was not receiving a paycheck. So I called, I called and tried to talk to somebody. I called, I called, I called. Then I had went up there and I was, your boy TSG was, I was, I was upset because I don't work for free. And let me just break down something real quick. Rather you're, when you're working, when you sacrifice your, your time with your friends, your personal life, whatever you, whatever you're sacrificing to, to, to take a job where you get paid, you expect to get your money. No questions asked. No questions, period. And to anybody who's, you know, 17, 18 up, who, who has a job right now, you know what I'm talking about. But get, getting back to the story, she didn't give me my check. And what really ticked me off about and what I just found totally dismissive and totally disrespectful is she was very dismissive. She didn't care. She basically act like, you know, she didn't care about me getting paid. And I basically told her, um... I was very displeased about how she handled the situation and how she went about it. So instead of her basically um, calling the corporate office about this issue, she called him that day in front of me instead of doing instead of doing it sooner. So basically, like, so basically, um, that's something I really didn't like about my manager. And I think ever since then, our our you know, I guess. We never really got along, and that's fine to me. But the thing is, but with the whole point of me bringing the story time up is, when you work for someone in any industry as a as an employee, you need to get paid. You need to get paid right then and there. Because I've always been taught that you know, if I've worked for other industries, and if um, they're not able to get my check out, they're supposed to send. They're supposed. They're supposed to um, send out an emergency check so you can get paid. So what I had to do is go back and fix that. What I had to do, since I talked to her, she sent an email out to the corporate office. I had to go call the corporate office from the payroll number and get some understanding from one of the people in the higher ups. So I went and fixed it the next day, fixed the problem, and make a long story short, I had to start getting paid what I need to be getting paid. So because my boss basically... For a, three, a good three whole weeks or something like that, she she never even asked me because I called up there trying to get in contact. When her, I know what her lame excuse was, oh, I was busy. I don't have time to be sitting up there doing this. She basically pushed me to the side like I was nothing. And that's why I find extremely disrespectful. So note to self, everybody. I don't care if you work in a local grocery store, you fast food joint, wherever you work, make sure they give you your paycheck. That is important. I don't care if I don't care if you're 17, 18, uh, you need your money. If you, Like I said, if you're getting rides or you're driving back and forth, you need money also for gas. For gas, you know, to contribute in your household. And I just feel like, you know, a person's money is very important. That's something you should never play with because that can become a very detrimental situation. But this is the end of my story time, and I'll be dropping this soon. It's your boy, TSG. If you want to see more story times, please hit me down in the comment section. I'm out of here. Peace.